Rounding and estimating are two important skills that make numbers much easier to work with. They allow us to work problems out very quickly and communicate approximate values. I live about 15 kilometers from college. I spent about 100 pound on the weekend. These are both examples of estimating using approximate values. We know that this sign means equal to, but this sign means approximately equal to. When rounding a number or estimating a value, it's important to remember that we're working within levels of accuracy. Sometimes we have to decide what to round to. In science, maths, and engineering, we usually measure to a high degree of accuracy. Numbers can be rounded both up and down, and this can be applied to an integer or whole number, or to multiples of tens or hundreds, and performed to either a number of decimal places or to significant figures. It depends on the situation. If you're asked how long your journey is into college and it takes 22 minutes, you're more likely to say about 20 minutes, which is rounding down. A newspaper headline stating that 10,000 people enjoyed this weekend's festival when the actual number was 9,563 is rounding up. 10,000 is an easier number to understand and process. It's an approximate value. A general rule is that if the number following that which you want to round to is between 5 and 9, then you round up to the nearest value, whereas if that number is between 0 and 4, you leave the number as it is, effectively rounding the number down. There may be times when rounding to a certain number of decimal places is needed. In athletics, long jump distances are measured to two decimal places, whereas running times are measured to the nearest hundredth of a second for a greater degree of accuracy. Have a go for yourself. Pause the video now and try this. Sometimes we may be required to round a number to a significant figure rather than to a whole number or to a decimal place and we must be aware of the difference. Rounding numbers to a given number of decimal places means that you start the rounding at that number of places to the right of the decimal point. Rounding a number to significant figures can be done before or after the decimal point. Significant means the most important the first significant figure is the first non-zero digit when you read a number from left to right. In other words, the number that tells you the most about its value. One significant figure doesn't mean that we'll have only one digit in our answer though. The number 13,745 to one significant figure is 10,000, not one. When a news article reports on a lottery win of £4 million, this number will have to be rounded to one significant figure. The 3 represents £3 million, and with the following number being bigger than 5, this gets rounded to £4 million. What is the most significant figure in each of the following numbers, and what would they become if we rounded them to one significant figure? All non-zero numbers can be counted as significant. For the number 0.53, the 5 is the most significant digit, as this is the one that tells us most about its value. If we were to round it to one significant figure, this would become 0.5. If we were to round this number to two significant figures, the 4 would be the most significant, giving us this. Now have a go for yourself. Have you heard of the term truncated? It means to cut off. A decimal can be truncated by cutting off all digits past a certain point. Your calculator will often give you a truncated value, rather than a rounded value. If you enter 2 divided by 3, the display might show this, or this. The first is truncated, the second is rounded to 10 decimal places. The fraction 2 thirds can be expressed like this, which is a reoccurring decimal. On occasion, you may be required to decide for yourself the necessary degree of accuracy to use and you may choose to round to significant figures or decimal places. Just remember to state what you've rounded to in your answer. Rounding this number to three significant figures gives us this, and pi rounded to six decimal places is this. Remember, when rounding to significant figures, you don't include any leading zeros at the left of your answer. In this video, we've explored rounding and estimating to give us approximate values. Here are some problems to test what you've learned.